Hey guys, so we are back and we're doing the Allen Edmonds today. We're going to start stripping these down. Now these have been sitting in the shoe trees now for a couple of days. We soak these down with a combination of isopropyl alcohol and water and you know we've actually we've gotten quite a bit of that dent that was in the back of the heel in the heel counter we've gotten that out we've actually taken out quite a bit of the issues that the toe box had and the vamp so what we are going to do now is we're gonna start doing the stripping on these shoes give me a shout out All right let's continue as Steve would say so guys, you'll have to forgive me. I lost quite a bit of my video footage that I had taken of me actually going in and stripping the shoes down. I will say this, the stripping process was pretty straightforward. I used a combination of acetone and cotton balls. Probably did it four or five times. I may have even done it a sixth time. I'm not quite sure. I lost count after three. So... Again, the stripping process is actually pretty easy. You just, what I do is I take a, a glass bowl and put a bit of acetone in there, soak your cotton balls, and go over the shoes several times with that. Now, what I did do is I actually used the 3M Scotch Brite pads in gray, which are the extra fine Scotch Brite pads, to assist in stripping the shoes what it does is it acts like sandpaper like a very fine sandpaper maybe a, a four to six hundred grit sandpaper and it helps to break the finish that's existing on the shoe so that the acetone can better penetrate and help to leach the dyes that are in the shoe in the the leather it'll help to to get that those dyes to leach back out of there now what you see me doing here is going through and using an artist brush that I picked up at the local art supply place. It's probably a three quarter inch brush now. Uh, in some of the tighter areas, I used a round pointed brush to get into the more detailed areas. Now you can see me getting up as close as I can to what would be a welt on the shoe. Now these are actually Blake stitch shoes, so they don't actually have what a Goodyear welted shoe would have. It doesn't actually have a legitimate welt around the bottom. But nevertheless, I'm still, I'm getting as close in as possible. As you can see right here, I'm getting extremely close uh, so that there's no light spots that can be seen from, from any angle. Now, what I'm using here is the Feebing's Mahogany Dye and this isn't the, their pro dye. This is actually one of their just regular alcohol-based dyes. And when I go to thin these, these particular dyes from Feebings, I actually just use regular isopropyl alcohol and thin them out when I want a little bit lighter color. Now, when you go over these shoes, you want to do it two, and what's even better would be three coats of of dye that'll give you a nice even finish what I found is that even going through with two or three coats it doesn't actually darken the leather uh, it doesn't actually darken the leather any more than than what it's gonna be darkened if that makes any sense leather will absorb the dye to to the the color that the dye is going to be. It's not going to get any darker than what it's going to be. So feel free to give it, if you want to give it a fourth coat or even a fifth coat, it's not going to get any darker. All it's going to do is even out the, the finish. So as you can see on the woven parts of the leather, I've actually gone through already and done those in black. And that's some of the fit footage that I actually lost before. So unfortunately you guys didn't get to see that portion of it nor the stripping part of it um, and again I'm getting as close as I can in here and this is the most tedious part of the the whole process is getting in there with that artist brush and and 
and dyeing it. Now, once these were dyed, I actually, once the, the main body of the shoe was dyed, I actually went with the toe box and the vamp on it. And if you give me just a moment here, you'll see. On the toe box and the vamp, I actually went back with a yellow dye over the top of the, the stripped down leather. And what that yellow did is it gave me, as you can see, this, this orange color. Now, obviously, I don't want that orange color to, to be permanent. Uh, I really want that orange, almost like a vignette that you would see on a an old Fender guitar. So, as you can see, I'm, I took out the airbrush and loaded up the airbrush with some more of that mahogany dye. And then I well, plugged up the compressor, I guess. Sure. So, got my compressor and my airbrush completely ready, and then I loaded it up some more with some more wit of that mahogany dye, and then started to go around the toe box right around the edge. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of getting some on the on the paper there, and you got to forgive the angle here. I'm still getting used to doing these YouTube videos, so forgive my angle on the on the shot here but I went around the edge and then what I did is I backed off of backed off and gave it a bit of distance and then lightly misted the toe box and the vamp with that same mahogany dye and what that gave me is a real nice color it's it's a beautiful color that in the sunlight you'll see you'll see that the majority of the shoe is that that darker it almost came out like the Allen Edmonds dark chili color but yet the the top of the shoe that toe box and vamp will have a nice orange color that that'll, that'll just be fading just kind of hinting through um, in in bright sunlight now I'll go ahead and I'll get the masking removed off of here and in just a moment you get to see the the shoes with just that little bit of of orange popping through let's get this masking off of here and get the shoes put into frame and as you can see the toe box and the vamp eh, wrong direction Doug why would you put it in the wrong direction but the toe box and the vamp on these shoes are just ever so slightly lighter color there we go let's get it in the right spot the toe box and vamp are just ever so slightly a lighter color than the rest of the shoe. And all the woven leather on there in, as accents are all done in black. So, now this is a reminder. The, these are actually the shoes that Steve from Beto's Leatherworks, he and I are working in collaboration together. And we're going to be giving these shoes away. So... I'm not going to bore you with a with a long drawn out process of showing how I actually shined up the shoes afterwards but as you can see here you know you can start with a, a pair of shoes now actually I bought these shoes as the, as like this on eBay for $14 and we turned them into this so as always like comment and subscribe and We'll see you on the next video.